Packaging versus alternate unit of items. In this presentation, we will have a look at the difference between the packaging and the alternate unit of the item and which feature is more suitable for your trade type. If you want, you can use both the units with your items. First of all, we'll discuss the packaging unit of item feature. Use packaging unit of items feature only if you are dealing in the units which are not connected at all. For example, you purchase goods in boxes and sell them in pieces, then you can maintain packaging unit with the items. In case of alternate unit, two units have some connections or some measurement relationship between them like kgs and pieces or pieces or liters then you can maintain the alternate unit of items. For example, one bottle of oil contains one liter of oil or two liter of oil to maintain such a connection between the two units then you can enable the alternate unit of item feature. In this presentation, we will enable both the features by using Administration, Configuration, Features Options, Inventory tab. Here, two options, Packaging Unit of Items and Alternate Unit of Items are appearing. You can enable the option as per your requirement. You can see on the screen that along with the Packaging Unit of Items feature, a label is appearing which is clearly showing that use this feature in case your units are like pieces in box or pieces in cartons. In front of alternate unit of items, a label is appearing which is showing that use this feature in case your units are like pieces and kgs and pieces and liters. If you want, you can enable both these features in your company. Click save version to save the configuration. Next we will create an item master by using item add option. Here we are creating a new item with the name of Castrol GTX Magnetic Engine Oil. We have specified its group as engine oil. Now we are taking its main unit as can, alternate unit as liter. We have specified the conversion factor as 2 and conversion type as liters per can. That is, one can contains how much amount of liter in it. It specifies that one can is equal to 2 liters. Now we will specify that sale price is to be applied on and purchase price is to be applied on. Here we have specified that sale price will be applied on alternate unit and purchase price will be applied on main unit. That's why here you can see on the screen that we have specified the sales price as 350 rupees per liter and purchase price as 600 rupees per can. Next, most important, we will specify the packaging unit of the items, that is the unit in which the item is packed. Basically, here we have taken the packaging unit as box and we have specified the conversion factor as 10, which shows one box contains. 10 cans and one can contains 2 liters of oil. So here we have linked all the three units with them like one box is equal to 10 cans and one can is equal to 2 liters of oil. Click save button to save the item master. Next we will enter a purchase voucher, enter details related to the header of the purchase voucher. Here we have selected the item as Castrol GTX Magnetic Engine Oil and specified the quantity as 10 boxes. That means we have purchased 10 boxes. On pressing the enter key on the unit field, the quantity in alternate unit details window appears which is showing the quantity in liters as 200. That is quantity in can is equal to 100 and one can is equal to 2 liter. 10 boxes contains 100 cans and each can contains 2 liters of oil so it is equal to 200 liters of oil we have purchased. In the next row we have again taken the same item. Here we are specified that we have purchased 5 cans of items. Again quantity in alternate unit window appeared in which we have specified that quantity in liter is equal to 10 that is 1 can is equal to 2 liter. So overall in total we have purchased 10 boxes and 5 cans of Castrol GTX magnetic engine oil. Click save button to save the purchase voucher. Now we are entering a sales voucher. Enter details related to the header of the sale voucher. Here we have taken the item as Castrol GTX magnetic engine oil and we have specified that we are selling one box of it. Quantity in alternate unit window appeared which is showing that one box is equal to 10 cans and 10 cans is equal to 20 liters of oils. In the next row we have taken the same item and have specified that we are selling two cans of the Castrol GTX magnetic engine oil in which the quantity in alternate unit is equal to 4 liters. So overall we, we have sold one box in two cans and the total quantity in alternate unit is 24 liters of engine oil we have sold. 
Next we will view display stock status closing stock alphabetical balances only report. Here we have selected the item Castrol GTX magnetic engine oil. In the report to be shown in data field we have selected the both unit options that is we want to view the report in both mean and alternate unit and we have enabled the option of show packaging details that is we want to view the packaging details also in the report. Here on the screen you can see the packaging quantity 9 box 3 cans mean quantity that is 93 can and in alternate unit 186 liters of oil. So you can see a detailed report with stock status in all the unit that is packaging unit main unit and the alternate unit of the item hope after going through this presentation you would be able to judge at which type of feature is most suitable for your trade type thanks for watching for more videos subscribe to our youtube channel